to get more video please subscribe this channel student today we discuss about the next points next questions of the practice say 3.2 of the chapter 3rd triangles mathematics part 2 9 step now the first question is in each of the following examples given below a pair of triangles are shown equal parts of the triangles in each pair mark with the same signs observe the figure and state the test by which the triangles in each pair are constructed look at the first figure here is triangle abc and triangle pqr this ab shown identical mark with pq bc with qr and ac identical mark with pr so that when we look carefully this there are three sides are congruent mean that these two triangles are congruent by using which test side 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 test mean that i have right hand rule is yes 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 test these two triangle abc is congruent with triangle pqr then second one is it is triangle xyz and triangle lm when we observe carefully this xy is congruent with lm angle y is congruent with angle m and segment yz is congruent with segment mn yeah, mean that side angle side so that the test is yes a yes test therefore these two triangles are congruent xyz is congruent with triangle lmn by kcs test then look at this third the triangle pqr and triangle stu are given angle p is identical mark with angle s yes. this side pr is congruent with side yes u and angle r is identical with angle u are congruent therefore angle side angle test mean that a yes a test therefore these two triangle pqr is congruent with yes tu by a yes a test then observe fourth figure lmn and here is ptr when we observe lm is identical with tp congruent here angle m is congruent with angle t ln is congruent with tr mean that here is hypotenuse because right angle opposite side is hypotenuse is congruent here mean that hypotenuse side test here so by this test hypotenuse side test these two triangle ln is congruent with triangle dt question number second observe the information shown in the pairs of the triangles given below state the test by which the two triangles are congruent write the remaining congruent parts of the triangle student this is activity based question now look at this first question sub question there is triangle abc and triangle pqr b is corresponding with q bc is congruent with qr angle c is congruent with angle r from the information shown in the figure in triangle abc and triangle pqr angle abc is congruent with angle pqr segment bc is congruent with segment qr angle acb is congruent with angle prq which is given here therefore these two triangles are congruent by using look here a s a test a s a test so in this box we write here a s a mean that angle side angle now then the corresponding parts are also congruent now here is angle bac look here bac so the corresponding is qpr so here i have to write here angle qpr corresponding angles of congruent triangles look here student corresponding angles of congruent triangle we have to also write in short c a c t then segment ab is congruent with corresponding segment pq then and segment look here pr is given mean that corresponding is ac so i am writing segment ac are also congruent corresponding sides of congruent triangles in short we will write here c s c t look here here is c a c t here is c s c t after this we use this only short forms look here please c s c t also okay look here in this second one the triangle pdq and triangle another is here is str look carefully the information shown is the figure from the information in triangle pdq and triangle str segment pd look here segment pd 
each corner with segment ST, double mark here, angle PTQ, in that angle PTQ, this angle, each corner with angle STR, this angle, vertically opposite angles, segment TQ, segment TQ, each corner with segment S, segment TQ, each corner with TQ, each corner with segment TR here, TQ, each corner with segment, sorry here, TR. By using one identical marker, then put this triangle. PTQ is common with triangle ESTR by using yes, a, yes, test. Yes, a, yes, test. Then their corresponding angles and corresponding sides are also common. So here is TPQ. Look here. TPQ. So we take here TSR. Angle TSR. Then here is TRS is given. TRS is given, so TQP I have to write here. Angle TQP. By using corresponding angles of congruent triangle CACT. Then segment PQ, remaining is segment PQ is congruent with segment SR. So segment S are corresponding sides of congruent triangle. Okay, we take the next question. Look here, question number third. From the information shown in the figure, state the test assuring the congruence of the triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Write the remaining congruent parts of the triangles. Now its solution is figure is given here. First you have to write by using which test these two triangles are congruent here. Look carefully here is right angle, right angle. Hypotenuse shown by identical mark and one side. Means that here is hypotenuse side test. So I will write by using the proper vertices, each ABC, each congruent with triangle. Look here, ABC, ABC, we take here. So I have write here QPR, triangle QPR by using hypotenuse side test. Okay, then write the remaining congruent parts here. Now look here, here is two sides and one angles are given, then remaining here one side and two angles here. Now look here, first I will take this angle B, therefore angle A, B, C, each congruent with angle, we have to start from P, Q, R, sorry Q, P, R, Q, P, R, because it is corresponding angles of congruent triangle. Look here, we have to write in shortly corresponding angles of congruent triangle. Then second pair is C with R. So I will write here angle A C B. Then start from right angle in the Q R P. Again, reason is corresponding angles of congruent triangle. And one side is remaining here with that segment A B. Sorry, A C. Each congruent with segment here is QR. The reason is that corresponding sides of congruent triangle. Look carefully, this is the short form. We write here by using this short form. Therefore, this is the answer of this question. Same question. Look at question number 4. I show you in the figure in triangle LMN and triangle PNM. LM is equal to PN means that congruent LM is PM and write the test of assuring the congruence of the two triangles and write the remaining parts. Look carefully student. This is the common sign. So that these two triangles are congruent by using yes, yes and yes test. So its solution I have to write here. By using the proper word as is, name of the triangle is triangle. Here is we take here LM here. Each congruent with triangle, look carefully, which triangle? LM is the identical is by one mark, so I will start from PN. Triangle PN, M. Look carefully, LM is double. LM means that first and last, first and last is double. By using the test is yes, 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 test of congruency of triangles. Then we write the remaining parts here. Therefore, the remaining parts. Now, here is three sides are given here. We have to write three angles here. 
by taking proper vertices i have to first write angle m here so angle l m n each congruent with corresponding angle this one is angle p n m reason is corresponding angles of congruent triangle then second l and t angle m l n each congruent with angle n p m corresponding angles of congruent triangle this one with this this angle is with this angle second and this n and this m so i have write here angle l n m p m n again corresponding angles of congruent triangle l n m p m n this is the congruent parts okay we take next question okay student the question number 5 is in this figure segment ab is congruent with segment cb segment ad is congruent with segment cd and prove that triangle abd is congruent with triangle cbd student you have to write at home this up to this is given this is to prove then i will take here only proof it's true now student this is the proper vertices so i will take here in triangle abd and triangle cbd now look here the given is that segment ab is congruent with segment cb look here proper is ab with cb this reason is given then second one is also given segment ad is congruent with segment cd this is also given student when we look carefully here is bd is common so i have to write here segment bd is congruent with segment bd the reason is that common side therefore these two triangles triangle a b d is congruent with triangle c b d by using yes 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 h okay then the question number 6 look at this figure angle p is congruent with angle r i have to show by using identical marking angle p is congruent with angle r segment t q look here this is segment t q is congruent with segment r q r q then prove that triangle p q t triangle p q t is congruent with triangle r q s yes, this is the proper vertices here student you have to write at home this up to this is given this is to prove here we take here only is to now the proof of here the proper vertices are given so i have to write here in triangle p q t and triangle r q s yes. student when we look here p q t and r q s yes, then here is angle p is congruent with angle r this is given another one is also segment p q is congruent with segment r q this is also given next to that here is only one remaining thing is here this angle is common angle so i have to write here this angle q by using the vertices angle p q t is congruent with angle r q s yes. because here we write reason is common angle therefore these two triangles are congruent by using look at the a s a a s a test so that these two triangle p q t is congruent with triangle 